Greetings to everybody watching me right now. Uh, welcome back to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you do any of these, uh, it will help you to keep yourself updated about uh, the content that I keep on uploading on this channel. Uh, especially if you subscribe and click the notification button you will keep posted about uh, the videos that uh, I post on this uh, YouTube channel so today we're going to look at um, a racing modes uh, if you haven't watched uh, one of the uh, lectures that I did previously I think the previous two lectures which we're talking about um, accessing memory you need to watch those two videos before you address, address yourself with uh, the concepts that we're going to cover on this um, on this lecture <clears throat> right so um, addressing mode it's just a way of addressing ourselves or addressing the assembler to the memory so it's more like accessing the more the memory as well uh, it all differs whether we are accessing um, a directly available memory or are we accessing um, are we accessing a uh, data from um, from a register from a variable from a random access memory or wherever we are accessing the data from that's what we are addressing ourselves so in other words we are just saying where do you stay where does this data stay and how do you get to that uh, location so that's addressing uh, I think we'll talk more about this as we go today in this lecture. So before we cover anything, we shall have a recap of the move instruction, which I'm sure most of us are aware of and uh, really appreciate uh, the move instruction concept. But we'll just look at, uh, at it because I've uh, had some guys complaining that they do not understand this instruction of which that's the one that we use we use uh, most of the time when we uh, give examples of uh, assembly language programming uh, codes so from there we talk about categories of erasing modes then we look within this I uh, will talk about each category then uh, we'll give examples we give you I uh, give you some instructions example uh, practical examples uh, instructions where you can uh, identify to say given this uh, program code you can tell somebody to say no this is direct addressing mode this is immediate addressing mode this is index addressing mode and whatever we have in addressing modes we will cover the most common ones and uh, the rest i will leave it for you to do a research and a simple start if you face challenges come back to this channel and on this link you can give a comment and say i have met this addressing mode and i'm facing a challenge on this concept can you clarify if it needs a video i will post a new video if it needs my comment if i think my comment is uh, sufficient to address your addressing mode query i will definitely post a comment right thank you very much let's uh, get into the recap of the move instruction so on this one we will not go theoretically but we will just open our emulator 8086 and um, I'll click create a new project which uses com template 
a new file which uses comp template and then what I want to do is I want to increase the font so that you may see what we are doing this side so that if you are following or copying what we are doing what we'll be doing the next few seconds move instruction is simple so we'll cover it uh, in, in a few seconds right so let me put 20 there and i think you are now seeing my instructions so i'll put my code there right so what do you mean by move instruction move that's the instruction this one and then we we'll put space so move is an instruction which tells the assembler to say we are moving something from somewhere so from a certain source so that's from somewhere to a certain destination so what we say is we are moving to this destination All right so we move to destination from where from source so this is the syntax for move instruction this is the syntax for move instruction Instru instruction right so this is the syntax you say move first and then you state where you want to put the data or where you want to move the data to and then you give us or tell us the source where you are taking the data from you see so i'm going to comment this one so that you know that it's not a, a proper instruction but it's just a, 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 a syntax for the way we write the code in alp the move instruction code in alp for example i want to move one two three four into a x i will say move into a x an immediate value which is one two three four hexadecimal if i emulate that or if i run this code one two three four is supposed to be moved to a x so i run that one two three four is moved to a x so that's simple move instruction so you can move from anywhere to anywhere it's your choice you may choose to move from um, a register to a register or maybe let, let me put another instruction down here to say i now want to move the contents of uh, i want now I, I now want to move to bx the value that was in uh, that was in, in uh, ax so if i run this you will see that bx will also have one two three four right ax is now one two three four bx is also one two three four so we have moved this to that so that's what move instruction means so in other words it's when we say move it's copying from source to destination it's not cutting when we cut we remove but when we copy we leave uh, a duplicate so in this case we have uh, copied that's the move instruction so i will not move uh, further i will not move further but i will give a another example to say let's say we want to move uh, the contents of uh, bx the contents we want to move to bx to let me say dx we want to move uh, the value that is at a certain address which is 0102h right so if i remember that whenever you see the square brackets we are referring to this effective array or offset or memory address so we are referring to the data that is at this uh, memory location so the data that is residing here is the one that is being moved to uh, a dx register so that's it and then what we do next is 
we can run it and check the value that is going to be inserted into dx right dx is this one we don't know the value that is going to be inserted there so 8b and 1 2 that's the value that is residing in this array but if we say i want i can let's say i can move to this address and we say move to that address so you see that you can move to memory you can move to register you can move from memory to register and so forth that's what we are here to learn today to say where can you get the value where can you put the value you will see it uh, as we do the addressing mode categories so i can say 0102 h and then uh, close this one and say i want one two one two to be inputted into that memory one two three four sorry let me say one 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 h and then uh you will see the value of dx because i'm not taking the value that is in there here to dx so let's run it right and then single set one two three four x then in uh we've inserted something which is one 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 h into zero one zero two uh memory address now we want to move the value that we've inserted or that we've moved it to 0102 hexadecimal value to dx register so check the value that is we in, in moved into dx same instruction you see triple one one or quad one is moved to dx register so that's the move instruction don't get confused with move instruction don't get confused with the move instruction right so i can save this as a move instruction uh, i will give the notes to you if you need them all right so let me save my code is move instruction and i want to save it to documents and leave it there All right so that's it on move instruction let's not get to our business today so we are done with the recap on uh, on move instruction so let's get into today's business which is uh categories of addressing mods i will go slowly but surely that's what i believe in i believe in going slowly but surely so that uh, if you follow this lecture with me you will never need to reread the concepts that we would have covered in this lecture so make sure you attend you listen attentively and uh, you follow me up until we get done all right so what is it that we call an addressing mode i think i have uh, given you the definition before which is more like theoretically and um, practically you will see what an addressing mode is so in a racing mode uh, let me give you a little, a, a little uh, example to say let's say uh, you want to tell someone to get some money which is uh, in your satchel uh, at home there is a way that you tell that person you may say my brother at home that's it that is on, on the phone my brother at home please uh, get the money that is uh, within my wallet in my room the, within my wallet and my wallet is within the satchel and the satchel is in my spare room and um, in, let's assume the person does not know where you stay you know tell the person um uh, and the the, the 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 spare room resides at um house number one two three four uh it's a decimal value in chinoy room right that's addressing that's addressing you're telling somebody where to get the data and what is the data in this case 
the data is the money that is residing in the wallet you get what I'm saying or you may just say my brother get me the money that is on the table in my spare room you get that the address is the way you are telling the person is now reduced or you can say my brother get uh, the money that is uh, at the doorstep at my house it's being reduced go and get the money from a guy standing at my address that's it that's how we are addressing it was longer and being reduced being reduced being reduced up until we just say get the money that i having at my house get the money that is in the veranda of my house that's it you are addressed you are giving somebody directions where to get the data from so that's what we are calling in addressing mode here is the formal definition of what an addressing mode is is just a method by which an operand can be specified so an operand that's the data that is to be acted upon so that's the data that is being specified to say so the method that you are specifying where to get the data from is what we are calling the addressing mode so what is it that we are called that we will call an opcode so we said an operand now we are saying opcode so i said an operand is the value that is to be acted upon you get what i'm saying and the opcode is the one that is going to act upon the operands so it's an operator more like operator which is acting upon the opcode so it's an operation if you are adding if you are whatever that you are doing that's the operation the the the, the, the operation that you are doing maybe you are moving maybe you're adding you're dividing whatever you're doing that instruction that is telling you the operation to be done on a, on an operand or the the, the 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 instruction that is acting upon the data or acting upon uh, the information that you want to manipulate or process so an opcode and then we have what we call an opsid an opsid in this case um, is a single instruction that can be executed with the cpu um somebody is now confused i'm sure i said an opcode is the move instruction as an example we have add so forth and so forth and so forth but now we are now saying an opsid is a single instruction that can be executed by the cpu by that definition of an opsid we mean the whole instruction to say move to bx from ax that's an op that's an opsid right for example this is an opsid move ax comma an immediate value 1000 hexadecimal value so that's it these are definition of terms right let's now talk about um, the categories of erasing modes what do we have we have immediate operand erasing mode i want you to understand this do not force yourself to claim the concepts that i'm going to teach you today if you do not understand these things please make sure you go back to lecture number one and lecture number two where we have talked about uh, accessing memory is the same concept that we are applying today but in terms of erasing modes it's given a, 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 a topic called erasing mode so immediate erasing mode we have uh, immediate wave register operand so from these terms you you may tell to say immediate operand erasing mode it's clear that we have talked about an operand and we said an operand is uh, the value that is to be acted upon by an opcode which is the instruction to act upon the data so you know now where the operand is so we are saying addressing we are just telling to say our operand is residing somewhere so register operand addressing mode we are telling our compiler to say our operand is residing within the register for instance 
memory so an operand is residing in memory and these are memory addressing memory operand addressing mode then we have a direct address mode Regis and direct erasing mode, we have index erasing mode, we have uh, base erasing mode, based and indexed erasing mode, and lastly we have based and indexed uh, with the displacement addressing mode. So these are the addressing modes that we're going to talk about today. They are very simple, they do not take time, but will go slowly but surely to make sure that you understand these concepts. Uh, maybe this is the only chance that you have to get through these topics so by the end of this you must be able to tell if you are given an instruction you must be able to tell to say this is an immediate erasure mode this is index erasure mode <coughs> this is this kind of erasure mode so uh, make sure you listen attentively is I put some water into a smaller container to clear my throat. Uh, give me more likes. Give me more likes. Give me some likes. Give me some likes. Give me some likes. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe so you do not uh, miss new videos that are, to, that are to be uploaded to this channel. Right. So we'll start with uh, immediate immediate uh, operand erasing mode. So like I said earlier, to say when we are saying addressing mode, we are telling the compiler to say the data that is to be acted upon is residing somewhere. You see, like I said, the man is in, in the wallet. And the wallet is within the satchel, and the satchel is in my uh, spare room. And the spare room is uh, residing in the house at house number one, two, three, four, whatever, whatever, which uh, is rainbow. And then um, later on, I said, um, The value, the, the, the take, go and take the money that is uh, in the wallet, and the wallet is on the, on the table, on top of the table in my spare room. Or the money is just in the in, in the house. When you get into the house, you bump into the money, and then you take it, or you bump into the wallet, and then you take it and bring it to me. So that's a recent mode. Here we're saying we are acting upon an immediate value. You see. So, uh, what we mean by, let, let me start by giving you a, a takeaway. No, this is not a takeaway. This one is a uh, chicken in, I mean, uh, question in. Like we uh, get we, uh, used to chicken in when we are enjoying ourselves uh, luxuriously. But today, we will enjoy ourselves with this uh, instruction, which is uh, with this uh, question, which is saying write an instruction that will move the immediate value one, two, three, four into the CX register. Those that are understanding this, please uh, give me the answer in the chat section. Give me the answer in the chat section. Write an instruction that will move the immediate value one, two, three, four into the CX register. So. Uh, before I give you my own answer or before we talk about this my answer is not given directly I don't give you the fish but I give you the hook and the fish line so you can get your own fishes right so what I'm saying is when we say immediate when we say a racing mode I will repeat it in a, in a certain way so that you get it correctly I'm saying we are moving or we are adding or we are acting upon something that is residing somewhere so the source is more like the one that is determining the addressing mode so here we are acting upon an immediate value which is being what being moved to a to cx register so you see so this source is the one that is determining the addressing mode. So, syntax for immediate operand addressing mode. Here is the syntax. You say move. 
to register immediate value or the data that is to be moved that's the syntax and then when we say uh, we can also move uh, that's another syntax you can also move from data to memory remember square brackets they are telling you to say what is within the square brackets uh, is the effective address or the offset right so when we say rage or when we say in place of rage you can put uh, these values you can a put uh, ax you can put uh, bx cx dx si di bpsp you cannot put signal registers there if i wanted uh, or if uh, it was allowed for you to put uh, signal registers i would have said move seg range to represent signal registers so you can see that uh, these registers are general purpose registers that are used uh, to so in place of uh, move you can say add you can say multiply you can do whatever you want to do that's an opcode you can change it uh, to your choice or as you choose then on register you put those registers data you put immediate values by immediate values you mean binary values you can put hexadecimal values you can put uh, octal you can put uh, decimal values or anything that you want to work with for as long as it is an immediate value right so this that uh, syntax of uh, moving an immediate value to registers so for example here we have 1000 being moved to ax we have uh, a1 to b hexadecimal value being moved to <coughs> to bx and then we have 100 being moved to si 03 being moved to hexadecimal being moved to bp register so here is the code the actual code that we are talking about and uh, let me emulate it so that you can see what's going on all right so this is it we have the x receiving 1000 and let's see it one zero 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 so some might ask why is it that on my AL the zero zero is not changed the color to blue it's because zero zero was already there so we didn't move anything we just checked if the value is identical to the value that we are inputting or moving into there so if it's changed then it changes to blue now we are moving this value to bx so i've given you an example which uses uh, hexadecimal values so that you can actually see the values moving into these registers then a1 to b moving into bx 0100 we moved to si and this is our uh, si 0100 zero three zero zero being moved to bp which is this one check the value that is to be moved there zero three zero zero right so that's our um, examples for moving into for moving um, immediate value into registers but now for the second syntax which moves uh, immediate value into um, memory here is it these are the like i said earlier in our previous lecture if you right here is the link uh, at the top here at the top here you can see this suggested link where you can go to to the previous lecture where we talked about um we talked about um, accessing memory and uh, the registers that we said can be used to access the memory are these four base registers or index registers and by base registers we are referring to b accent uh, bp 
index registers we have um, destination index and source index those are the registers that we can put inside the square brackets to move an immediate value into that destination so what i want to do here is i want to change here to say immediate value so that you really you can get what i'm what do we say immediate value and so this is its immediate value so instead of just uh, doing that i will do it this way all right right so that's that's uh move instruction that's move instruction right that's uh, sorry that's uh, immediate erasing mode then when we want to move we want to apply this second syntax where we are moving an immediate value into memory we said inside in place of memory fair word we can say di or si or bs or bp you know what i'm saying All right so that's it let's see an example so this instruction this instruction we just saying move square brackets si square closing bracket comma 1000h this is just a case of ignore it right so that's the instruction that is uh, implementing an immediate addressing mode that's the instruction that is uh, implementing an immediate erasing mode All right so let's uh, check the actual code let's check the actual code and see what happens when we do this so we are saying uh, <clears throat> we first uh, move uh, 1234 into SI register and then meaning to say 1234 is what 1234 is the address which is in memory and that's where we are now putting one to one thousand yes i just move one and this is the immediate value which is being moved into an address which is inside si so what is in si is the address All right so we are done on this example let's close it and go ahead but now there are these uh, instructions that are illegal so here is the illegal syntax you cannot move to segment register you can for example you cannot move to code segment you cannot move to data segment you cannot move for extra segment directly like that you cannot move to stack segment so this is what is forbidden you cannot do this it's not allowed it's illegal it will give you an error if you try to do this so that's it on immediate erasing mode so if you if i ask you to write an example of an immediate erasing mode instruction in the chart section i think i can see the instructions coming in the chat section please post them post them i want to see your answers the question is uh, write an instruction which implement immediate addressing mode i might make it tough for you to say by adding the the the, 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 the term which says or the phrase which says the immediate value must be a binary value right i will not wait for your answers let's just go ahead right register operant addressing mode as we do this please if you haven't liked please do if you have some comments give them write them and post them share the link with your colleagues and don't forget to subscribe so this must become our tradition to say whenever we start a new addressing mode we start with an 
we, we start with a question like uh, what we have done previously in the previous uh, immediate arrays mode and now we are looking at regis operand arrays mode and this is the takeaway to question in rather write an instruction that will move the contents of uh, bx of dx register to the cx register Right, so here is the syntax for register operand addressing mode. Right, so register addressing mode, like we said earlier in the immediate addressing mode, you observed that the source or the value that is to be acted upon was an immediate value, either hexadecimal, binary value, whatever. It was an immediate value. I hope you now understand what I'm saying here. Right, so it being uh, a, an immediate value, then we call that a racing mode as immediate racing mode. Now we are moving from register to register. Oh, it's not sim uh, it's not simple. A racing mode made simple. I think this must be the title. If I am um, to keep this um, content on this channel, right? So the syntax is move register value to register. So we are moving a value that is within this register into this register. So let's get an example. Ah, oh, we have a lot of examples. So we are moving bx into ax. We are moving cx value into dx. Dr into si. Ax and pp. Or dr into ah. Cs and ax. Al into ph. So the value that is within these registers that are to the far right are being moved into the registers that are within uh, the destination section of our instructions. So let's uh, get into the practical example and see what exactly we mean by this. Right, so instead of just writing this, I chose to give some values into our uh, register so that you can observe some values being moved to some destination registers. So let's emulate it and see. So here we're moving one two three four to what? One two three four is being moved to one two three four has been moved to BX and then into CX we say zero one zero one and then uh, as you can see there then in DR we put zero two DR which is that one let's emulate zero one is it there? Uh, it's not moved. Zero two. It's not moved. I do not know why. All right, it's not yet done. All right, zero two is ten moved. Then the next instruction we executed is this one now. We are now moving um, the value that is in BX, which is what zero one zero uh, zero one. One, two, three, four. It's being moved into AX. You see? So let's run it and see one, two, three, four getting into AX. One, two, three, four. Oh, nice. The value in CX being moved to DX. Zero, one, zero, one. Being moved to DX. You will see zero, one, zero, one coming there. That's it. It happened. Then the value in DI. DI DI which is 30 AF is being moved to a to SI and this is SI so let's check SI as we go single step SI R now the value in DI is moved to SI let's move the value that is in DL DL is 1 we are moving it into BP into AH sorry AH is 1 2 and a DL is 1 DL is zero one, so we're moving zero one into a h, zero one into a h. Let's check a h. Single step, zero one is moved. So that's how it goes. 
line by line so these instructions are the ones that we are referring to as uh, register ad, uh, register operant addressing one by that we are saying the operant or the data or the value to be acted upon is residing within the register so i think that's uh, we are done on this one let's just close it and go to the next one illegal syntax you cannot move you cannot say i'm moving signal register to signal register so this is a register operand addressing mode it's never you cannot do this these are the examples of illegal signals and then the other thing is you cannot move 8 bit you cannot uh, move from 8 bit to 16 bit or 16 bit to 8 bit or anything which is uh, not of the same size so you cannot say 16 bit is bigger so i can move 8 bit into 16 bit you cannot do that you can also not do this to say 16 bit must be compressed into 8 bit you cannot do that somebody can wear a t-shirt of somebody who is bigger than him but in this context it doesn't work it doesn't apply so these are the instructions that we do not want to see we don't want to see this this is illegal let's now look at a uh, 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 direct addressing mode <laughs> direct addressing mode right so direct addressing mode uh, is similar to immediate addressing uh, mode in that the information is encoded directly into the directly into the directly into the instruction you get what i'm saying i repeated directly several times because that's the keyword that we that is giving the name to this addressing mode you know what i'm saying so we are saying Previously, when we talked about uh, immediate addressing mode, the value of the data that, that was to be acted upon was an immediate value. Now, the information of where we get, where we are supposed to, to get the immediate value is directly encoded into the instruction. So that's, the, that's one of the uh, differences between immediate addressing mode and direct addressing mode. So you will see the information that is encoded directly into the instruction. However, this in this case, that is uh, in direct in direct address mode, the instruction opcode is followed by an effective address instead of the data. So what we mean is, let's start with uh, this takeaway. Write an instruction that will move the contents of memory location. So that value it's an immediate value but it's not the value that is to be acted upon the value to be acted upon is residing at an address which is given this this uh, address and 1230 is the address or the memory location where we are getting the data to be acted upon and it's to be acted upon how by being moved uh, by being moved into a x register so let's check the syntax so you can move to register from where from a certain memory location so inside memory you can put uh, some registers we have four registers that you can possibly put into there one is let me see them let me see the answer let me see the answer in the chat section we have four registers that we can put in in place of memory in place of memory here we can put four right we can either put uh, SIDI or we can put BP or BX these are the registers where we can put inside memory in place of memory rather and then register these are the registers that we can uh, move the data to or we can act upon uh, that we can um, uses destination in this uh, move instruction right let's assume that uh, we have our memory is uh, being shown here to our right 
let's assume that we have our memory like that and these are the bytes or byte locations you see we have these values right and these are the memory addresses to say 88 is residing in an address called 0400 and uh, 33 is residing at 0301 0300 is residing uh, is uh, having 22 ff is residing in address 0200 and 0101 is having 10 0100 is having a zero so assuming this let's say we want to run this instruction let's say we want to run this instruction what do you think will happen 0 2 is what 0 2 0 0 this value is what so this 0 2 0 0 is a memory address and this is the memory address that we have 0 2 0 0 right so what are we moving into a h a h is receiving the value that is residing at 0 2 0 0 and the value is ff so ff is going to be moved to a h like that so ff is now moved into a h so you must understand that this is not the one that is being moved to a h no the one that is to be moved into a h is the y is the value that is residing at this memory address so you must not confuse I will repeat again, even if we are allowed to repeat this million times, I will do it. Those square brackets, they tell you that what is inside those square brackets is representing memory location or the address or effective address. So that's it. That's an example for you. Let's now see you have this other example, this uh, instruction as well this instruction is the first one this one this instruction is an 8-bit instruction 8-bit is based on 8-bit operations so what are we doing here we are moving ff which is residing at a, 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 a single byte in memory so our memory is sectioned into several bytes or several locations which are of size of one byte. So what we are doing here, we are saying move this into a H and this is just FF. But now here, look at it. We now have 16 bits. So what what will happen? What do you think will happen? We will refer to 0300, right? So what happens? What is what do you think is going to be moved into BX? Please post your answers, post your answers, please post your answers, post your answers. If you are watching right now in the live or if you are premiering this, please post on the chat section. Post your answer on the chat section, chat section, chat section, please. I want to see the value that is being uh, moved into BX. So if, without wasting time, here is the value that is being posted into uh, BX. So it takes the first uh, a h a h being one being three three and then a l being twenty two. So it starts to take the value at uh, zero three zero zero. So zero three zero zero is more like the starting address, and we know that b x is what is sixteen bit. So the assembler knows that, and then it will it will take this value and then jumps to the next byte. And then checks the value that is residing there. As you can see, that addresses are moving from down upwards, going upwards. Now we have another instruction: move di zero four zero zero. What will happen? Di is of size what sixteen bit, right? And then the value that is to be moved into di is tower eight eight. It's a uh, nine nine eight eight and here is another instruction move zero one zero zero and those other instructions without answers they are there for you to practice right so here is an illegal instruction or illegal syntax you cannot move to an instruction pointer from extra segment 
Right, let's not look at uh, register indirect race mode. Right, previously it was direct because the information was encoded within uh, the instruction, right? Information, and what was the information? The memory address or the effective address, some call it an offset. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what happens? In this case, it's now say register indirect. So meaning to say it's no longer direct. Right? So what happens? It's no longer direct. So we have, we have just taken that immediate information that was encoded and then we have inserted into the register. So it's now we for us to get the information first, we get it in, indirectly through a register so we open the register we take the information after taking the information we say this is where this is the address where we are getting the data or the, uh, the, 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 the operand that is the value to be acted upon right so this is it this mode is similar to direct addressing in that an effective address is combined with the contents of DS to obtain physical address. So this is just on physical address calculation. We have talked about this uh, in the previous lecture. So uh, keep on checking the top, uh, top, um, top of this, so that you may you may see some suggestions, suggested uh, videos, or suggested practical lectures that we have covered uh, earlier. Right. So, however, it differs in the way an offset is specified such that fixed for race resides in either a base register or an index register. Like said before, whenever we want to access memory, the four registers that we use: base register, base pointer, source index, destination index. So, the base register can be either base register. Or base pointer like I said then the index register can be source index or destination index register so that's it let's now look at the syntax All right we move register you move to register what do you move to register something that is it an address which is residing inside index register or base register I want you to understand this instruction I am saying, I am moving to a register. The value that is residing at an address which is inside index register or base register. Those that do programming or those that uh, do IT, they understand that this uh, operator is an O operator or our operator so what we're saying is what is in index register or base register is the address so that's how indirectly we get the information and the information is hidden within the register all right so what happens let's check we still have our memory and the memory addresses right and these are the registers that you can put in place of range and then of this range this range in caps and then index registers or base registers you know them then those are the base registers and the index registers and then let's look at this uh, instruction now let's look at this instruction um, I want this to appear before I tell you what I want to you to see what I want to say. Right. So this is what we have. Let's say we have this instruction. Oh no. I think we
okay so it's fine i'll just explain it that way right let's say yes it's now it's now working the way i wanted it to work so let's say we want to move uh let's say we have this instruction what happens is whatever that is in si is the address and where is it addressing us to to an operand or the value that is to be acted upon by the move instruction you know what i'm saying so let's check the value of si the value of si was one uh, blah, 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 blah. So the value of SI is 0, 1, 0, 0, right? And 0, 1, 0, 0 is this address, this one. So what do you think will happen? AX is now having, is having 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So SI is 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is the address. And then we get at 0, 1, 0, 0. We have A0 and 1, 0. So A0 is moved into AL. 1, 0 is moved into AH. Now the final result of AX is 10, A, 0. Let's check on the other instruction. That one. Move BX, DI. This is what happens. DI has got, has got this value. And this value is the memory address. 0, 2, 0, 1 is the memory address. 0, 2, 0, 1, so it's supposed to be 0, 2, 0, 1 here. So just a mistake down here, it's supposed to be 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, yeah. Right. So we have that instruction. DI's value is 0, 3, 0, 0. So and bx value is ffee now what happens is we take 3 3 into ah and then 2 2 into bx i hope you are getting what i'm saying from the flow of this code you must uh, get the meaning All right so here is i's value is 0 1 0 0 as top as said earlier then dx's value which is our destination is 5 6 7 8 and then what happens? We are taking the value at this 0, 1, 0, 0 address, which is this one, and we are moving it into uh, dx. But now we have an add instruction, right? We have an add instruction. So we are saying whatever that was in dx, we are adding the value that is residing at 0, 1, 0, 0, all right? So the value that is at 0, 1, 0, 0 is uh, 1, 0, a 0. So we are adding that to that. And then of the final value that is to be inserted into dx is 16.38. We get that. So that's how the uh, the registering director racing mode works. So inside the square brackets, we have base register O, index register. And uh, we are acting upon the value that is residing at an address that is inside so it's one may say we are acting upon a value that is residing inside the address that is residing in a register so the register is having the address and then we get the value from from uh, memory so si has got this value is 0, 01 0, 0 is an address and we get the value moved to x same applies that i hope you are understanding what we are doing here so here on adding on 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 addition we are saying add the value that is residing in memory in the memory address of that uh, value is residing in SI and the SI is got 0100 so 0100 value is 
10a0 that's the value that is to be added the value that was already existing at dx then we get 1638 that's it we are done let's go to the next solution but before we go there let's uh, let me give you this is uh, what this is just a uh, this illegal instruction is not supposed to be popping up like this because it's not relevant to this right index addressing mode we now know that here we are just using the index register just that and index registers that we have we have which index register we have um, data destination index and source index it's done this mode uses the value of the displacement as a pointer to the starting point of an array of data in memory and the contents of the specified register as an index that selects the specific element in the array to be accessed right so displacement is either 8 bits or 16 bits we've talked about this previously or in the previous lecture so click on the link that is appearing at the top top for you to attend the previous lecture right so here is the syntax for index erasing mode so i think we've talked about all this it's only that we didn't talk about the term erasing mode if we've talked about it then it's going to be very fast for somebody to understand this all right so what we're saying is we are saying si or di are the registers that are to be used but displacement is just a, a value which represents the number of steps to be moved uh, from a starting address to the one up until we get to the value that is addressed. So here, let's say we have this. Uh, ex, this is another syntax where we have di. These two are the registers that we are referring to as index registers. And because we can only use index register or di, si or di, that's why we're calling this as uh, index register, index or register mode. And uh, in place of uh, range, we have uh, these general purpose registers and uh, extra and, call, and what? Segment registers. Let's say we have this as an example called move into a x. The value that is at an address residing in SI plus three steps in the positive direction. So this is what we are saying. I'm reading this instruction. I'm just reading the, the instruction itself. We are moving into register AX a value that is residing in the address that is within SI plus three steps from the starting address which is in SI. So here is what happens. SI is got 0097, right? And 0097 is what? Is this one. So this is the address, right? This is the address. But we want to move three more steps in the positive direction. So if we are now one, one step, two steps, and then we get the third step right so now we are done moving three steps and then we take the value that is at that address so that's uh index addressing mode you may choose to use only in uh, si or you may choose to use only di without displacement like uh, we used uh that, like we did in the previous lecture in one of the previous lectures i think it's the first one so check again what happens this is an instruction we are moving so si has got a certain value which is what 0097 and 0097 is having 40. 40 is not the one that is being moved into ax but what happens what is happening what is happening is that we are we now want to add three more steps in the positive direction one step uh, sorry the first step is that one we get to 0098 0099 and then the third steps the third step gets us to zero one zero zero and we move the value at that address to ax 
Same applies. Move BX DI. What is the value that is uh, in DI? 0, 1, 0, 0. And then what happens? We add 5 steps or we move 5 steps in the positive direction. 5 steps. Okay. 1 step. 2nd step. 3rd step. 4th step. And 5th step. So which values are going to be inserted into BX? 8, 8, 3, 3. All right. Uh, that's it. We are done. That's it. We are done. So here is another instruction. Add. So what you, to keep this simple for you, what you can do is you can say in DI we have 0, 1, 0, 0. But I'm adding 5 steps. So you can say 0, 1, 0, 0 plus 5 you get 0105 which is this array 0105 that's the array where we're getting the value into the same applies on si si 0097 plus 3 which gives us 0100 and then we get the value to x so here we are saying now add the value that is residing it in address which is in a which is in si and then add or move 100 steps to get the value to be moved into dx so what do you think will happen what will happen is we just say si si is what 0097 and then we add 100 steps so we say 0097 plus 01 Zero, 0 we get zero, 0197 so we get the value that is at zero, 0197 into we add that value plus the value that is already in dx so like uh indexed registers here we're now talking about best addressing mode where we use only the best registers which are bx and bp so in this mode the effective array of operand is obtained by adding a direct or indirect displacement to the contents of either base register or base point. So displacement is either 8 bit or displacing bit, like said earlier. Right, so here is the syntax. You can move to register the value that is residing at address which is in BX uh, plus some steps. So those steps may be 16 bit or 8 bit, or you can say BP in place of BX. And in place of registers, these are the registers that you can put. And then here is an example which is just the same, like we said. Or like we did previously we move three steps but this time we are just using bx then we get our value into way into ax which is our destination register and then we have another instruction it's just the same it's only that uh, we are using right is a mistake is a mistake this is supposed to be a bp this is supposed to be b base pointer or bx let's say bx for it to be uh, and then here we can say bp because we don't have anything because here we are using uh, base registers so we move that to that one step one step one step one to up to get there so here bx we move uh, five steps like that up until we get uh, our so here we can say it's, uh, mm 
Let me say PP, let me just say PP. Because I don't want to confuse these things. Because if I confuse those things myself, then what will you do? Let me just BX as well there. Alright. And so BP. Right, so that's it, that's it, that's it. Let's get to the animation and check what that means. Because that way, that way, let's see now. BP, the value of BP is that we move five steps, which are those five steps. Give me more likes as you see the, 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 the illustration. More likes, please. More likes, please. More subscriptions as well. So that's it. Let's check on the edge construction. Right. Based indexed addressing node. It's now using both base in uh, base base register and index registers. Right. So you just say bx plus si or bx plus dio we can say bp plus si or bp plus di right so here is uh, the illustration move ax bx plus si we just in this case what we are doing is we are just saying the address where we are getting the value is the addition of the value that is in bx and si if you combine the two values the value that we get is now the address or the offset or the effective address. Then we get the value from that location. So here's what happens. We add those two values. That is 0977, which is BX. And then SI003. And then we add the two. We get 0100. Then our instruction changes to move AX. 0, 1, 0, 0, and then the value that is in the x is still 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and then we take the value that is at that 0, 1, 0, 1 into a x we are done so same applies to other registers i have showed you some combinations the combination all the combinations that you may have uh for base index addressing mode uh, maybe I've uh, further shown you how you can add displacement. So, if you want to add displacement, you have uh, this addressing mode called uh, based indexed addressing mode with displacement. So, move you can say range, and then you choose BX plus SI, and then you add some displacement. So, these are the combinations that you can have. Or for B based indexed, so for based indexed, it means we are having two registers, at least two registers, base and index register. And then you add displacement. So displacement can be within the square brackets or outside the square brackets. So that's how it goes. Here is an illustration. We can do that. The value that is in SI plus the value in BX plus 5. We get that in our instruction changes to that. And then we go to that uh, address. And then we get the value into AX. Right. So that's it for based index array mode with displacement. So that's how it goes that way. Right. All these instructions that are being written here, they are not allowed. These are illegal instructions. So do not write these instructions. They are illegal. These ones. If you want to see, previously we talked about accessing memory. I think it's the first, uh, first, uh, first lecture. So, if you want to see all possible, all possible combinations, 
please uh, go to the first uh, lecture and uh, listen attentively and follow the instructions and how it was done so base register cannot work with another base register index register cannot work with another index register that's it index register works with base register perfect you can add or not but whenever you're working with best indexed register i mean addressing mode it means we need at least two plus some dis plus a, 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 a displacement so that's not allowed at all all right so here is your takeaway describe put addressing mode and string addressing mode with an aid of a sample a lp program called per mode all right enjoy your study time thank you very much i love you all i wish you the best in 2021 and other years that are to come please don't forget to leave a like if you have enjoyed what we have been talking about subscribe comment share and here is the link to the first lecture this is the link to the first lecture and this is the link to the second lecture so please watch these two lectures uh if you haven't uh, if you wanted to if you want to ask, understand fully understand this the concept that we've covered in this uh, lecture make sure you watch part one and part two of this series of videos thank you very much enjoy the rest of your day the rest of your years in this life goodbye